Fire ants are one of the world's most invasive pests. They may be small, measuring two to six millimetres, but the insect is truly a nasty pest. The ant is the ultimate survivor. They can travel over ground, fly, raft on waterways, and hitch ride in construction and landscaping equipment materials. What does this mean? It means we need to adapt with the pest. This is why it's important to have a range of fire ant treatment options and methods available, so we have the best chance of eradicating fire ants. Fire ant treatment and delivery methods used should be determined on a case-by-case -case basis. This is not a one-size-fits-all approach for fire ant treatment. There are a range of fire ant baits available on the market, some of which are used by us. The baits are not harmful to humans or the environment when used according to the labels and the Australian Pesticide and Veterinary Medicines Authority. You can use these baits to treat your property if you are a resident, primary producer, or manage parklands, sports fields, and recreational areas. Licensed pest managers can also use these treatments on behalf of the property owner or manager. Each product has a different active ingredient and are suitable for the use in different situations. The Insect Growth Regulator, or IGR, is best used for proactive treatment for fire ants. It's made up of small pieces of corn grit soaked in soybean oil and the active ingredient either S-methoprene or pyroproxifen, commonly found in pet flea collars and used in mosquito control. For best results, you should spread bait over open sunny areas this should be done every 12 weeks in spring, summer and autumn, that's three times a year. Spreading the bait can be done using a shaker product, hand spreader or using machinery on large properties. So how does it work? The soybean oil used in this bait is very appealing to hungry fire ants. They collect it, take it back to the colony where it is eaten by the queen and other ants. The IGR bait stops the queen from reproducing, causing the nest to die out. It can take three to six months for the nest to die completely. Fast acting bait is also a granule product made up of the same corn grit. Unlike the IGR, fast acting bait is not a preventative treatment. This is used to treat visible nest in areas recognized as highly infested. These baits are made up of indoxycarb, also found in common household pest control products. The bait works when the worker ants feed the bait to the queen and the younger ants. Ants will begin to die with the whole nest destroyed within one to four weeks. Follow the product label, making sure not to cover the nest with bait. There are also products on the market that have a mixture of IGR and fast acting bait that can be used to treat large areas. If you follow the directions on the label, nest should start to die within days with full nest death four to five weeks. Direct nest injection is a treatment method in which fire ant nests are injected with a liquid product known as fipronil. Fipronil is effective at a very low application rate, 25 millilitres to 100 litres. Only licensed pest managers can use this treatment method. Fipronil kills fire ants through ingestion and contact. The treatment starts working immediately. This method is generally used for rapid response when needed. We know a thing or two about fire ant treatment. We've learned a lot over the years. If you would like to join the fight against fire ants by treating your own property, your work site, or do it on behalf of someone else, we have a few tips. Apply fire ant bait during the warmer months, typically between September and June. This is when the ants are actively looking for food. Store bait in a cool, dry place. When it is warm, apply the bait in the afternoon. Strong UV light makes the bait break down faster. Don't apply bait when it is raining or the ground is wet. Don't water, mow for 48 hours after the bait is applied. Don't disturb land to be treated 48 hours before or after bait application. 